Hey everyone, it's James here at Seton. I just wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of the latest version 1.3.0 on some of the new features such as Wake on LAN. Uh, so here I'm on actually on the home screen, which usually probably most of you have auto reconnect on, so it'll, you'll probably be here. However, we want to go to the select PC screen. So if you don't have auto reconnect, you'll go there. If not, from the menu, uh, you can hit select PC. That'll bring you to the screen. So I already have my PC configured here. Um, now on this screen, you can always long press on here and you'll have a bunch of options. This is similar in the other versions as well. On iOS, the little blue indicator, and then on Windows Phone, you also long press as well to get these commands. Uh, so from here, you can edit the PC settings, manage your security password, and then on this latest version, 1.3.0, uh, you'll see Wake on LAN. So what that'll do is if, you're sleep, if your computer's in sleep or hibernate or off and it supports Wake on LAN uh, and your NIC supports Wake on LAN and everything like that and your motherboard, then you'll be able to send Wake on LAN commands to wake up your computer from sleep. So on this screen, you'll actually want to go ahead and find your MAC address of your PC. You can do that easily by opening up a command prompt uh, and typing ipconfig slash all and uh, you'll find your MAC address in there. So you want to go ahead and enter it here and on here you can just save it um, or you can actually send wake on LAN command directly from here and it'll tell you if it's successful or not. Uh, so you could actually add multiple ones of these if you just wanted to add every single PC in your house even if it didn't have the companion services on it and just wake up anything any of your PCs in your house if you wanted to. So and this all works as long as you're on the same subnet and Wi-Fi. So here you normally just enter your MAC address and then hit the, the send, send wake on LAN or just save. Now by default this only happens uh, if you actually long press and, and do that. However, I've enabled in the settings an advanced option here and you'll see wake on LAN when connecting. And this will automatically send the wake on LAN command uh, if you're on Wi-Fi and you're connecting to a PC even if auto we reconnect is on. So that's one of the brand new features of 1.3.0. Let's go ahead and go back in here. Uh, some of the other features as well that we've added and, and fixed up, as you've seen, is some of the other ones. that You have the remote, there's some new color coding, swiping back and forth will uh, bring you to the uh, number pad. Uh, additionally, um, you can always go into channels uh, and we have a new option which has been here for a bit but in case you didn't know there's this thing called sync channel so if your channel lineup changes or for some reason guide information isn't showing up on the guide just go ahead and hit uh, sync channels and I'll go ahead and pull and refresh all that for you automatically additionally here on Android we have a brand new finally refresh button on the bottom so if you're inside and you're doing upcoming recordings or adding some movies uh, you can just hit refresh on the bottom down here and that'll go ahead and refresh it for you. Um, we've added a lot of other enhancements and optimizations uh, that we think you'll like, such as optimizing scheduled recordings, recording TV, everything should load faster, be quicker uh, for you as well. We hope you're enjoying the Seaton Companion uh, and please review the apps on the App Store. We appreciate it. Thanks.